the devil, turn to Jesus. Jesus can save your soul. You don't have to be a misfit with God. Jesus can make you fit for heaven.
know what you got to do. Preaching the word of the Lord. Straight down to the Lord. No, 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 no. no, you're going no, straight down no, to the Lord. No, 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 no money, no, 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 no money, no nothing like that. Yeah, we don't need no money. We don't no, need no money. No, what I'm saying is, man, you don't ask for nothing. You're going straight down to the Lord. You're going straight down to the Lord. You're going straight down to the Lord. We're out here to give. We're out here to give you the bread of life, the word of God. The bread of life is not a believer, so it's not to be a Jeremiah's finally told me that a uh, baby was going to hell. Now, knowledge is power. Knowledge is knowledge will give you the way to get your own soul. Knowledge is power. Yeah. So we're giving you knowledge, the wisdom of God. But let me ask you this. All right. If you got the knowledge, all right. If you got the knowledge, and somebody who's got the means and the income and whatnot, why is it so much for every church community just to not do it? Do it for them, just to tell them where they need to go. Why is that so a problem? They got their own income. Well, there's lots of places you can get food. There's no Nashville Rescue Mission up there. I get food. I get direct. Yeah. We're, t we're telling people to read the Bible. We're telling people to read the Bible. That's the best direction possible. Dude, the Bible, 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 the the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the but the message of the Bible can lead you to Jesus. And that'll save your soul. Well, that soul's all right. Well, I hope so, sir. God wants you to be saved. Now, if you don't preach about, about the Word, put words in it. That's all I'm saying.
atonement for Muslims. He said he was. He the Jesus of the Bible. It's not, what is it? Jesus is pretty hateful at times. I wouldn't say that he was stern and he was yeah. wrathful, but I wouldn't say hateful. Wrathful? I mean, you should hate sin, right? Murder? Don't you hate it when people get murdered? No. You don't hate it when people get murdered? No. I do. It's awful. I'm, I'm sad for it. I'm sad over yeah. it. Yeah, you should hate those I'm things. I'm sad over it and my heart goes out for it, but I don't hate the sin. Well, the sin God I'm hates it. God, God hates it. God Sorry. hates the wicked every day. I hate the sinner. God hates the wicked every day, though. Well, his heart does break. Okay, but the Bible says, do you believe the Bible? Okay. And the Bible says that God's angry with the yeah. wicked every day? Yes, he's angry, he's upset. He, he hates their hands, he hates their tongue, he hates their feet. Yeah. In the New Testament. Are you perfect, Jesus? What's that? Are you Jesus? Oh, no, I'm not Jesus. You know I'm not Jesus, you're just kidding. I know. You're yeah, you know Jesus. I'm not Jesus. But I'm perfect in Christ. No, you're not. Well, that's what the Bible says. If you're a Christian, you're perfect in Christ. That's what the Bible says. You say you believe it, so I'm going to hold you to it. You can be perfect in Christ. So when you're born again, what's that? Jesus loves you. No. He wants Jesus. You, got a, you don't have a Bible verse for that. He's covered my sins. You know, so, what do you mean by an imperfection? My sin is washed. That doesn't mean that I can go and live however I want to live. That's right. I mean, I can do whatever I want to do. That means That's right. like, I try my best. That's the way I've got to do. I absolutely, fully try to cooperate with him. And I'm going to fall short. You know what it says in the book of Philippians? It says, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Oh, my God. Letter well, it's, it's talking about living right. for God. No, so you can turn from sin, right? I mean, I used to be a thief, but I can do all things through God who strengthens me. I can turn from my thievery. I used to love to get drunk, but since I can do all things through God who strengthens me, I can turn away from alcohol. Praise God. Praise God we can live holy. He, he's made a way for us. See, the Bible says when we get born again, we can we are free from our sin. In the choir. Okay. I just, well, the Bible also says a godly woman. What does the Bible say how a godly woman dresses? Do you believe? Oh, you're going to bring out my dress now. Okay. I'm just saying, you say you believe the Bible. Come on, come on. Do you believe the Bible or not? Oh, come on. What, is, what does he say about the Bible? The Bible says a godly woman dresses modestly. In, in what way? Are my tits out? It's just, my ass out? It just says no, come modest. On, no, come on, no, come on. Is this not modest? I'm not going to tell you how to dress. Okay? Oh, but if everybody can see everything you have, you might want to rethink your wardrobe. That's all. This isn't everything. If you're a Christian, if you're born again, no, talk to God on, about keep it. Keep on, keep on. Talk to God about your dress. I have talked to God about it. Okay. Are you can I have tattoos too? Well, not me. The, the Bible says not to make any marks upon your body, you know, especially for the dead. But not yeah, you, you know. because you don't believe in God, but like us the Bible says that. What's that? Can I just tell you something? Well, she had a legitimate no, question. No, no. I want to make sure I answered her. I know, I know. Extreme, you are. And your, your, your answer well, was honest. We just honest. believe the whole Bible. That's all. Well, your answer honestly is bullshit. I'm just answering you with the Bible, and you say you believe it. You're not. You're you said you believe the Bible. You're not. You're not. You're not. Uh, Can I tell you something? What did, what did I say about the Bible? No, you're not. Can I tell you something? Sure. I mean, you came up to me. I know, and I know. I know. So I want to tell you this because this is what's on my heart. I can take it. We stir up the devils all the time. We stir up the devils all the time. It's crazy when we come up. I thought y'all just saved this guy. What's that? I thought y'all just saved this guy. Well, we want to. I mean, it's between him and God. We, we can give him the information. You know, trust in Jesus, repent. It's up to him. God is gentle. He's also wrathful. You're right, he's gentle. God is also wrathful. He's loving. He's loving and, and he hates sin. He's going to judge sin. He's merciful. He's merciful, but also 
so there's going to be justice. Well, if, ma'am, if you got a better way to preach the gospel. I do. I love my friends. Go for it. Yeah, but you got to tell them how to be saved. Jesus warned people about burning in hell forever. Do you warn people? Are you like Jesus in that way? Warning people about hell? Jesus warned people about hell? Are you like Jesus in that way? I love my friends. But if you don't warn your friends about hell, watch out. They may trip off into hell if you don't warn them.
What's that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Outlaws don't. What's that? Outlaws don't. Outlaws don't forgive. Well, Jesus said, if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. Sinners, sinners. But, yeah, but if, if, if you're born again, you can be a saint. That's what the Bible says. You don't believe the Bible? You don't believe the Bible? Oh, well, that's a problem. Righteous by Jesus. Jesus did it. of them. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Right. We're not getting drunk. You should feel sorry for the drunkards and the smokers. I didn't say you were. Right That's right. That's how Jesus wants you to be. Yep. We're on the narrow road. You sound like you're on the broad road to hell. No, I'm not. But Jesus? Oh, so you got a fake God. I what? you got a, fa a false God. No, I have a God that I believe in that ingratiates all religions. Oh, that's wicked. That's the devil. Your God's the devil. Uh, yeah, the devil does that. Really? Yeah. The devil does that. No, I, my mind's been cleansed by the word of the Lord. No, no, no. The Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die. You're only going to die once, and then the judgment. The Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die, and then comes the judgment. You're not saying God's a liar, are you? I'm saying God didn't create our world and universe in seven days. Why not? Our universe was around a lot longer than two thousand years. What see, your, your, is your head? see, your God is impotent. Your, your God can't create in seven days. You know, we don't ask why he took only seven days. We, we wonder why he took so long. I feel sorry for you. Why? You're so close-minded. Yeah, we're closed unto the real God. Well, well Jesus, Jesus said... Is he assuming everyone here is sinning? Well, the Bible says that all have sinned and come short yes, of the glory. Of I'm a strong believer. Okay. I just, I just come from the fact that to say, to yes. stare at everybody and say, you are a sinner and repent and you're not going to get like, well, grace. Like the Lord comes and redeems us. If, if you're saved, okay. Saved. Right, right. If, if you're saved, yeah. he's not really talking not to you. Even I know, but I, I think that there's a way to approach people that aren't believers and bring them in and love them for who they are. No, no, I'm trying to help you. Said, no, you're not. you got a fake God, and I'm what? trying to point you to the real God. I am such a believer. Your deist beliefs are going to land I'm you in hell. Yeah, that's I not going to help you. I have a lot of different religions that all come into one. I don't want that to say. Are this real? Guess what? It's just Bible verses. No, you know what? I love God's Word. What you guys don't get is I've been around many times. No, you haven't. What, what devil told you that? I have, not devil. Was it Shirley MacLaine's devil? Shirley MacLaine's the devil. What? You sound brainwashed by the devil. Are you ready? What, was it Shirley MacLaine's devil that told you that? I'm probably one of the most spiritual people in the world. Well, yeah, so is the devil. That's not going to help him on Judgment Day. The devil's spiritual. You're brainwashed. You're brainwashed. Our minds have been cleansed through the washing of the water of the Word. You need a hymnal. Awesome. Well, 
sacrifice for your sin. Fair enough. You know why you need a sacrifice for your sin? Because I'm a sinner. Right. You know what happens to sinners after they die? Not very good. Yeah, it's all bad. <laughs> you need Jesus, sir. You got to talk to these guys right there. They're terrible sinners. Well, I used to be a terrible sinner, too. Fair That's enough. right. You can be. You can go from a hell-bound sinner to a heaven-bound sinner. Can you? Praise God. Oh, yeah. That's the plan. That's why God, the Bible says God commands all men everywhere to repent. Isn't it kind of arbitrary, though, at the same point? How do, how do you mean arbitrary? No, no, it's open for interpretation. Not really. God commands all men everywhere to repent. You need to repent from your sin towards like, God. You can't have an absolute. Sure. Why, why not? You and I both know you can't have an absolute. Is that, are you absolutely sure? Yes, I am. You're absolutely sure there's no absolutes? 100% positive. That there's no absolutes? Correct. Nothing's ever positive. You, you, you need to work on your logic skills. You and I both know. You are absolutely sure, 100% positive, that there's no absolutes? Nothing's ever correct. You, you just defeated your own argument. Are you 100% correct about it, that there's I'll no absolutes? I'll embrace it any day. <laughs> you need Jesus, man. I'm with it. Jesus. I'm with it. Yeah, you need to repent. Are you put your faith in him? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. You, you repented towards God for your sin? You and I both know that nothing's ever for positive. Nothing's ever for positive? Correct. You're so pessimistic. I'm not. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. You can't get around the word of God. God wants you to be saved. He doesn't want you to just live your you know, selfish, pleasurable life and then die and go to hell. He doesn't want us to lie either, though. Exactly. The tr that's why God has his Bible. You had a question about marijuana, sir? I don't like marijuana. What's that? You don't like marijuana? Well, it's not about what I like. You know, the Bible says that we're supposed to be sober-minded. We're, we're to love God with all of our mind. I feel, body I feel like it's, it's what, not, if it's a what? Body high, not a Body high. Medicine. Yeah. Well, if, if, you, if they have some sort of a extract, cannabis, whatever, you don't get stoned when you take it, that's fine. See, that's why I that's feel fine. like it's not me, it's not you. It's, it's about getting high. It's open to interpretation. You need to get no, high. No, it's not open for interpretation. The Bible says to be sober-minded. I think I should just get But what is sober-minded? Well, not, that's, that's certainly not getting high or that, getting drunk. That's not you to say what it is or what it isn't. It's for what God, for what God says. Exactly. And he wrote it in black and white. It's pretty simple. In English, you don't have to interpret it. It's just written in English. Simple. I mean, the King James Bible is written less than the sixth grade level. True. True. What do you think about aliens? What's that? What do you think about aliens? Aliens? Yeah. Well, they, Trump needs to seal the border and put up a wall. That'd be See, great. You can't say that, though, because it's not about a specific person. What? It's not about a Trump or it's not about this political party. It's about anyone in general. Yeah, we should enforce our borders. You know it's true. Huh? You know it's true. It's not about a specific person. It's about an interpretation. It's about Jesus. If you have Jesus, you won't be confused. 
but that's the thing. All it's right. not. It's not about specific. See, I got you. It's not about a specific person. It's, it's about, about Jesus. It's about interpretation. This whole world was made by Jesus for Jesus, including you. I will. You were made for Jesus. I will take. Jesus that wrote your DNA. You likewise, need to submit to Him. Likewise, but you gotta interpret that in the same way that I interpret it. No, you need to interpret it according to the Bible. See, that's the difference. God's holy that, word. That's the difference. God's perfect word. Yep. Not everyone feels the same way. Did you guys get a gospel track? Jesus. Jesus can save your soul. You don't have to be a sinner all your life. You need to be born again. Preaching the gospel, Jesus, preaching okay. the Bible to people, cool. trying to help people. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said most people are in trouble with God, so yeah. only through him people can get right with God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I give you a gospel track? No, no, I'm good. Um, about Jesus? You want one? Yeah, sure. It's about Jesus? Yeah, I think we're both, we're both pretty religious. Not even both. 
Okay. So you got to be saved and be born again. That's what Jesus said. So do you not think that people should be out here enjoying them? themselves in all time. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. There's always that balance that I struggle with and it's, 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 I always try to ask different people, you know, there's always that scale, like, you know, either you're atheist or you're, you know, you're walking the streets, there's yeah, always that scale, like, where... Someone who says they're a Christian or they're actually right, right, right. a Christian. Where's that scale? But you know yeah. the well, biggest problem that we have with? What's that? It's hypocrite Christians. Oh, yeah, well, we got that, we got that back home. I got that in my family. Oh, yep. You know, and we, I do. the people that go to church every Sunday, my family are, are the biggest snakes. Right, they can be. Family, you know? So we're just out here trying to help people, preach the gospel. We want people to be saved. You know, God doesn't have anything, you know, nothing wrong. You know, we enjoyed ourselves out here tonight. But if you're sinning, you know, getting drunk and things, you yeah. know, that, then you're violating God's commands. So. Well, we'll, we might see you out here tomorrow night. You can be out here tomorrow night? Uh, probably not. I think okay, okay. Or I will. I don't know. All right. Have a good night. My name's Kenneth. Jeremy. Jeremy. Yep. I got a, a nephew named. I, I gave him a gospel track. Yep. Good job going. All right.